I'm oh, back with him in another pack collection video, but it's time to walk down memory lane. I would spend the just mentioning I'm off like season two because here it's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. It's a concept I would love to watch an episode of Trolls here by DJ on and make pictures about it for your long pitch and I eat. Well, for season two, I eat two bean boozled jelly bean. No, for season three. Wait. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it mixed up. Season one and season two, I had one bean for each and crack prediction, but for season three, which I've not gotten to the explanation for that yet. Right. Anyway, so season two, I eat the bean with the Joker shenanigan is anything that I try to really make this series priceless, which first me to make the second season and also the third season. Filled with, in the season two, it's filled with even more jokes and shenanigans than the first one. And it could be a little joke that I made, or clever editing that I did, or something funny in the background, or something that's clearly irrelevant to the basic concept of our play. There are many such like the jokes and shenanigans the DGR's videos in live streams, but they're not being good here if I do not add anything to get away to them. I will show the after black things in the room video. If you want to control some of my shenanigans for our play season three, uh, there's only one more episode of that. Possibly beyond if I decide to do so. So, in response to my ice switch form. If anybody has played any response, you can see my, my ice switch spreadsheet. There is another series that I've decided I won't do season four before I finish another series. There, there is another series that I'm doing that combines feature on Bean Boozle, but that's what I'm telling you now. I want to get that finished. I'm gonna have now. The way I've done it, I've already recorded everything a couple of years ago, but I, it's taken me a long time. There's one episode, or one video in particular, that's taking a long time. And I haven't been working on it much. Especially since I'm working on season three, whatever. But when I get that finished, then I'll work on the other series, and more often than then. Because. I mean, I have to finish making everything before I upload anything to YouTube for some of the things I've done in the other series. And it's a couple of other things I want to add to them. I also want to make a teaser. And also, I haven't added any... No, I meant to make... I meant a trailer. Or preview. Yeah, a trailer. But also the teaser, which I haven't added yet. Don't trust six. Hello, my friends. Link beans. Beans. B e a n. <laughs> the only smell he correctly guessed was soy sauce. The rats hint that Link asked. For using it as sentence is private information. Don't spill this. And Link would think you know, spill the beads, but the, count the number of spaces and count the number of letters in beads. And yeah. yes, <laughs> beads. <laughs> e A B E. Beans. B E A N S. Beans. <laughs> Fortune Feimster Teller. Origami Fortune Teller. Mermaid Man Evil. Evil! What YouTube channel uploaded? Ah, oh, Leah Stevens, okay. Tower one. Friends, this is This recording does not have the big thing about pop the mystery pop tarts where I uh, um had the realization of what the flavor is or, or or whatever, just me mentioning that there are pop tarts with garlic powder in it. Uh, Mr. Let's Play It. He says he's excited when he 
when I mention him, and now he also like so they, he likes seeing that in there. His uh, icon there. Okay, Craig Ferguson. Craig Sanjay Ann. Everything Pop Tart. Heavily seasoned in some kind of a bagel. Confirm confirms it. Bay gal. Bagel. The correct answer before Everything Bagels. To show the every sorry. Alright, hold bagel. Bagel! 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 Winch is dead. Bagel. Also, every four. Animate. Al Suri 7, Resolve. Tower 2 Hello my Adventures in Adventureland DGR Rick Roll. Welcome back to another video today. Follow my f in our quest to leave no. And as always, put on cleared. This. I, okay, hold on. Get a moment of a. Tower 3. Hello, my friend. Half. You don't need to see that. I mean, it's just my father, but you don't need to see him. E minor. Yeah, E minor, all right, yeah! <sighs> Solitude and E minor. Cue the outro. Cue the outro! Cue the outro! Editor me, find out if we're okay. Okay, these those to me like on a like piano or something that's C F. But I know that some instruments can have alternate tunings. So editor me, find out if it's possible for a clarinet for that to be called those notes to be called E minor on the clarinet. Okay, Bob Wade. Okay, I need to I can't show you the entire thing here because I censored some things in the I bought my season 2 video and so I'm not going to show you that. Okay, Markiplier. Okay, I, I I just found uh, um I don't know what adjective I'm looking for but uh, well, a goofy images of Markiplier and his friends here. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay. After you've seen some more files that I've used in I Lost My Season 2, and maybe some of the explanation videos, we'll move on to the actual explanation for some of them for Episode 4, Don't Trust. Part 2, It Is Back. Oh, this is a long next one. They shouldn't. Why did I put some of the things that I put in there? Well, I mean, I know why I did, but why? Okay. Anyway, this is part two. And we'll start with It Is Back. It is back. 
I had to put I Bluff the Light Season 2 on a hiatus, which is a big pause, so that I could focus on summer college work. And also, at JM, being at JMU is why Season 3 and these explanations are taking a long time. Um, anyway, summer college. Back before the pandemic, our school had a day called Gobblers Give Back, where we did community service. There were multiple groups that the students signed up for, and I chose window washing, which was around the school. Did you notice that there were four words in a row that start with W? Window washing, which was. By the way, the students got t-shirts, and I was wearing mine so that I can point to the word back. Everything we do, we do it out back. Backyard, half charred ribs on a rack. Back road, running, getting dirty on the track. Backwoods, gunning, hitting birdies by the pack. Well, I didn't use any songs by the Moonshine Bandits in the video, but I did use Bat Vibes by Kevin MacLeod. It has an acoustic bass and a vibraphone, and they are backed with mechanical clicks and beeps. Back to Vibes Clean, which I didn't use in this er, in the video, has only the, the bass and vibes, so the mechanical clicks and beeps were cleaned away. Everywhere we go, we go to the back, backyard, bars serving jars full of batch, back under the moon with the tailgate back, and the back of the saloon where the jukebox at. Wait, is it a batch of moonshine? Highlight intro. Uh, so I have a series where it's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. It's been a lot of fun to editor me just when you put I block fly on the screen, just put this highlight big on the screen. But not covering my face, so scooch it down a little bit. Okay. Alright, it. Uh, Royalty Free Music Repertoire is a website that I created with Replit. It is a convenient way to listen to royalty free music. A query is a specific list of related music in their repertoire. When I read, read this, uh, when I redesign my royalty free music repertoire, I will call them sets instead of queries. Or should I just call them lists? since they're ordered, and in some instances might have duplicates. Well, no, they don't really have duplicates, unless they're like synthetically constructed, then maybe they might have duplicates. No, I, but the official ones have no duplicates. Okay, let's call them sets. The IBA query is for music that I use in I Bluff to Lie. I highlighted I Bluff to Lie in the query file and I told editor me to put the highlight big on the screen. I duplicated the video, cropped around the highlight, and made it big. I set up the joke while recording. The big highlight blocked some of my face, so editor me shrunk it. Then I told editor me to put it below, so I did. Stay hydrated. I was thirsty, so I went to drink water. I remembered the video in which I said, it is important to stay hydrated. So I said it here before I got the water. I was thirsty back then too. 
The Pack of Valheim improv video was created because I wanted to make another video, but I didn't know what I wanted to make a video about, so I just put in whatever I wanted to on the spot. Editor B turned up the volume, maybe also the EQ, so you can hear me fill my cup from the sink. I want to show you a magic trick. You see that there's light outside? Well, I'm going to count to three, and it suddenly is going to be dark. One, two, three. Almost one hour and fifteen minutes until midnight. Uh, I'm not going to get this done by then, but I'll, I'll do a few and make yet another recording, I suppose. Not even the same day, it's the next day. Okay. New music. Editor B, make sure there's no, there hasn't been music earlier in the video. Well, you can have a little bit of music, but make sure all music in this video, make sure you hear the challenge. All music in this video is music that I have not played on any Eyeball of the Life, season one or season two before, which means you're not going to do Summer Rain or Fiddle DD, even though I only heard a little bit of it, because only a little bit of it was in that video. But you're not going to play a double O or a Call to Adventure or Signs to Nowhere or Half Mystery or Colossus or LOL. No. Lurking Sloth or anything. It's all new music. And I'll start you off with to start you off with Operation Plot Summary. I decided to give Editor Me another kind of music challenge. This time, I must use music that is completely new to I Lost a Lie. At first, I said to not have any music earlier in the video so that I can give this challenge, but the Back to Vibes already was playing, so Editor Me paused the music and put text on the screen that says, Oops, too late now. Then I thought about it and decided that there could be a little bit of music, so Editor Me resumed the music and got rid of the text. I started out the new music by typing Operation Plot Summary into the IBA query file. Operation Plot Summary is music that I composed with MuseScore and the intention that one day I would turn it into an act. What does act stand for? It stands for a cappella tunes, and this act would be called Operation Plot Summary. Since a title would not appear more than once within the same query, I ordered the music by first occurrence and I blocked the line. Since this video's music is new to this series, this video has all of their first occurrences, so the query would list all of these titles together. I put a comment before Operation Plot Summary indicating where I would put another title or two in case Editor Me played music before. I composed that. And if you do have other music before Operation Plot Summary in this video, go ahead and put it here. Or you can I did so, namely Back to Vibes, which is new to this series, so it works. One final thing for this explanation. I knew LOL was not a title. 
I put speak commands in the query in addition to titles, but I joked as if it was a title because the line was wrapped. I was naming some examples of music to not include in this video because I had used them previously. Trust it. The trust it in the title of one of the results reminded me of the time Dave fell backward and knocking down his green screen, even though that happened in the physical pain video that is just below it in the results. Editor Me had that clip on hand, and since I mentioned it, I put it on the screen so you can see Dave falling backward and knocking down his green screen. Without further ado, without further ado but uh, I guess uh, I, I, I guess I am actually adding more ado what is ado? oh well the A does not have to be capitalized oh okay okay much ado about nothing earlier I said without further ado let's fire it on up and dive right in Fire it on up and dive right in are two things that Dave sometimes says in his intros, but not together. I, I put them together here. Since I hadn't quite started yet, I guess I was adding more ado. I didn't really know what ado is, so I searched for it. I don't know why I capitalized the A, but it doesn't matter. Much Ado About Nothing is the title of a comedy play by the one and only William Shakespeare. Back is back. I stopped the recording so I could re-watch about the first six minutes of the trolled video. I needed a recap because I had pretty much forgotten what had happened because I blasted my season 2 was on a hiatus. After re-watching, I started the recording and said I was back again. This was the perfect opportunity to point to the word back on my shirt again, which I did. The next thing I mention is Operation Plot Summary. I really want honest feedback, so I'll ask here too. What do you think about Operation Plot Summary? I switches. Also, I created something else. I switch. I for. I don't know why. So there will be a form in the description, I, and I should put it on every description to dis every description i've lost my description so if you want to control some of my shenanigans and stuff you can go to the form link now i have full right to reject and i switch which means i just won't show it in the video if i think it's too crazy or anything any or anything that i'm too uncomfortable with but anyway, if you have an idea, you put here, what's the condition? What needs to happen first? Like, uh, whenever I, I get a horizontal roll in the bingo board, or whenever... Yeah. 
During the hiatus, I thought of a good idea, and that is what named this video. I want the viewers to submit an Ice Wish or two or more for I Beloved to Life Season 3, since there were none for Season 2. They are called Ice Witches because the I is for I Beloved to Life, and the switch means there is one thing that leads to another thing. It's like a light switch. You flip the light switch and the light turns on or off. You can control some of my jokes and shenanigans for I Beloved to Life Season 3. I have slightly modified the form since this video, but it is mostly the same. How about this? I will give you an example, and it will be perfectly valid for I Beloved to Life Season 3. I will explain each part of the form as I type it. After that, I will show you three examples of Ice Witch that will be rejected and what I would do to them. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up for tonight. And I think I will do this tomorrow, or if not tomorrow, a different day. I'll do what I instructed myself to do here in that recording I just put in the same video. So I'm not wrapping up the entire video, just this recording because it's late. Five till one hour before midnight. I hope I don't leave any glass slippers behind when it reaches midnight. Okay, that was not funny. Alright, if this... So this is what should happen first, a condition. So, um, if I am by any of my uh, uh, I, I, I call them friends. So I can only do this for episode four. And actually this for what I have planned for episode four, this can only be for that. Okay, then that. And I, I thought of, hmm, what can I do? Well, I, I thought of it. I would uh, hide my face cam. Cam until... Yeah, uh, maybe like two words there. Until... Spin or eat a bean, or I go somewhere else. Spin or slash eat a bean, okay. Uh, I'll just go with continuous, and then at the end of episode four, then it'll stop being the name. Yeah. Rest plan, that is me. So, whenever this happens, in this case, I'm seen by any of my college friends, that's kind of a hint for what I have planned, I hide my face cam, then that will happen. If this happens, then that will happen. So this would be, a, I hide my face cam until I'm about to spin spinner, slash eat a bean, or I go somewhere else. So that's another hint. And continuous, because it could happen more than once, potentially. Rice Klein, okay. Submit. There we go. One I switched so far. That's valid. Now, let's see, I can submit another response. And that says three examples that will be rejected. In this case, I'll do just an inappropriate condition. Next one will be just an inappropriate action. And then the next one will be just an inappropriate name. 
Okay, here's one with an inappropriate condition which will never come true anyway. Just to be clear. And I've, it says it's a sensitive subject. I have censored it. So if I'm contemplating suing, you know, which I'm, don't worry, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I want to wait until, you know, I'm called by my creator. And then do 10 push-ups. Well, I mean, I could do 10 push-ups, and I should be doing daily push-ups, but I keep forgetting or being too lazy and not doing it. And I just chose entirely up to me, and then I just put my initials BK, so submit. And then I'll show you what I will do after I do the other ones. Submit another response, and... Okay, this time the condition will be good, reaction will be bad. What's the chance that anybody at Google can see my response right now? Because they don't have the context for it yet, because I'm still recording the video. But if, if somebody from Google sees that response, or if any of you see that response, then you're going to have some questions. I'm nah, I don't know. Okay, here we go. If Dave's character falls into a hole, which is uh, pretty common, you know, I mean, there are other ways for the character to, you know, be unalived. Then bring an axe to the Arboretum. Well, what Arboretum am I talking about? I mean, you'll find out. But I don't even have an axe. Don't know where I would get an axe. But also, even if I could have an axe, I'm not going to bring it to the Arboretum. What would I do with it? Chop down a tree? Well, no, that's not allowed. The trees have to stay there. I don't have permission or desire either to chop down any trees or anything, so no, I will not bring an axe or a chainsaw or anything to the Arboretum. And entirely up to me and BK, submit. Okay, if they mentions want a pizza or exotic fromage, which is the dolphin cheese idea, right? Um, he only has two ideas. He has two ideas. Want a pizza where you don't call them, they call you and ask you if you want a pizza or exotic fromage, the cheese made from dolphin milk, but also maybe other exotic animals. And then I'll buy a dessert at the closest dining location. Well, I mean, I guess... Here, where I am now, would be the kitchen over there. And I, I mean, we already have dessert. Anyway. So yeah, that's a hint for episode four. There may be where I'm going to be, multiple dining locations around. And th th I could do this. This could be a valid I switch. That's fine. If Dave mentioned that then, well, I have to record myself. You know, find a dessert at the nearest dining location. Perhaps I'm already there. I don't know. But the thing is, imagine if this name there was not asterisk. That's censoring something dirty. What if there was actually something dirty there? A name that I don't want to say. Not because it's difficult to pronounce. As in it's just inherently difficult. It's because it's too dirty or something. Then, uh, then I would have to reject this eye switch. So, let's submit. But other, but other than that, the eye switch is okay. So here's what I would do. So we can see previous responses. So I can see everything. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, oh wait. Oh, wait, I have to do it from here. Responses 4. Here's how I would do this. Go to Individual. So if I'm seeing my anime college friends, I hide my face cam until I'm going to spin the spinner or eat a bean or go somewhere else. This will be continuous. And Bryce Klein, sure, I'll keep this one. That's fine. Next one, if I'm contemplating 
which is inappropriate and also will never even apply in the first place. No, I'm rejecting this eye switch. Click the trash can icon, delete it, as if nobody submitted that. And then when I go to record Eyeball Off the Lion, I look at the responses, you only see the ones that I have not rejected. If Dave's character falls into a hole, bring it back to your arboretum, that, that's ridiculous. No, I could get in trouble for doing that, and where would I even get an axe? No. Keep the trees there. If any tree work needs to be done, well, I'm not going to do it. They'll have, they have, they, or, they, or at least can find people who can do whatever. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that condition, so I will delete it. And the third one, if Dave, Mitch, Dave mentions Wanda Pizza or Exotic Fromage, Dolphin Cheese, whatever, then buy a director close to the dining location. Sure, I could do that. Use some of my dining dollars. That's fine. But the name is the problem. I will review the name, but if the name is bad, so is the eye switch. So we'll delete that. There we go. Alright, so... It would be almost like, hello my friends, welcome to Pack Valham and other I will have to lie, blah 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 blah. I switches. There is one I switch. Da da da. So you know, in this episode, da da da. Look, Bryce Klein, that's me. I submitted this one. All right. So that's what's going to happen. And you can look in view in sheets, and I'm guessing if you delete the responses, it would delete it from that sheets as well. But if not, then I'll delete it from there myself. Oh, it's not automatically deleted. Okay, I have to keep that in mind. Deleting the response from here does not automatically delete it from the spreadsheet. So, if I reject an I switch, don't just delete it here, but of course delete it here, but also I have to go over here and manually delete it myself. So it's these will be deleted. There we go. Just like that. Rotated face cam. But anyway, if you have an idea, you put here, what's the condition? What needs to happen first? Like, uh, whenever I, I get a horizontal roll in the bingo board, or whenever I do something else, or are you giving me some kind of a challenge in a video, and if I fail it, or anything, any condition, if this happens, then... I gave an example of an if-then condition, which was getting a horizontal row on the bingo board. I meant to point down to it, but I accidentally pointed up to the wrong spreadsheet. Editor me duplicated the video, muted it, cropped around my face cam, resized it, rotated 180 degrees, and put it over my original face cam. Something that the editor me does. What needs to happen after? And it could be something that the editor me is, uh, does, or it could be something that the recording me is doing, or it could be something is separate in the future for half of our hand, or... I gave an example of a then that action, which was something that the editor me does. Editor me did something to the video, specifically added the box turn one transition before and after this clip and added the tunnel effect with the X and Y centered around my face cam. Future for half of our cam. Does this sound familiar? More. You know what? Maybe the condition could be I looked over to gather my thoughts. Coincidentally, the section of Operation Plot Summary that I repeated played at the same time, so Editor Me put the text on the screen in the direction I was looking at. It should sound familiar because this section played earlier, and these are the only times that the choir sings. Could be not 
not the condition, but... Something about... Consequence or whatever could be to change the royalty-free music repertoire, or could be. So you get to create, if this happens, then that will happen. And also, you can give me a suggestion if it should be continuous, which means if this happens, then that happens, and I, and it, the switch is still active, which means if this happens a second time, then that will happen a second time. That's what continuous means. And one time means I only wait for the condition once, and I do that once, and then that's it. Get, get rid of the switch, the I switch. And I don't have to go with your suggestion here. All right. I don't want the consequence or action or whatever to completely change my road to free music repertoire. So, so editor me added clarification with the text on the screen that said something about. So the action could be to change something about the road to free music repertoire. <coughs> I don't know what that little squeak was. I don't know if you heard it or not. Let's see. Right here. Yeah. Funky bass boost. Funky Box Step has been playing, and it was new back then. It is part of The Waltzes, which, in a, which is an album by Kevin MacLeod of experimental pieces in 3-4 time. Funky Box Step is funky with a kit, bass, organ, and guitar. It starts in C minor, but it has some moments when it goes to F minor, which is the fourth chord of the C major scale. Let me, right now, as I'm reading this, pause the recording and open online sequencer to show you what I mean. Do so. Okay. So, funky box steps in C minor, which the scale has these notes. C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, and then back to C. So, and, and sometimes it goes to F minor, which will use F, uh, A flat, C. And this is the four, so one, two, three, four. Yeah. I used Filmora's beat detection feature to see the beats and measures. When Funky Box Step returned to C minor, I split it there and modulated it up the whole f Funky Box Step. Oh, I see. Whole step. Where whole Funky Box Step to E minor. Oh, okay. I, I got out of order. Let's start over. I used Filmora's beat section feature to see the beats and measures. When Funky Box Step returned to C minor, I split it there and modulated it up a whole Funky Box Step to D minor by pitch shifting it up by two. That means the fourth chord now is G minor. So I can select these up the whole step. D minor, G minor. I don't have any MIDI devices, but I, I don't know, I just click allow. In case I ever have you. When it returned to D minor, I modulated it up another whole funky box step 
to E minor by pitch shifting it up by two more, four total now. So, so up to there, so E minor, and then A minor. That means the fourth chord now is A minor. When it returned to E minor, I applied the same pattern, but also did the following additional things, which is the timestamp used for this shenanigan. So, so there, F sharp minor, B minor. Um, I dropped it down an octave to the lower F sharp minor by pitch shifting it down by 12 from a total of 6 to negative 6. So it was like there. I also boosted the bass on the EQ. I put text on the screen that says funky bass boost because I boosted the bass and I took funky box step and replaced the box step with bass boost. Pad from the chair. There was a pad on the chair. When I got up to get the beans for the incorrect prediction, the pad fell off. I picked it up and put it back on the chair. Thereafter, when I brought the beans over, I asked the age-old question again. How long had I been recording? I changed the tense because that moment is now in the past. It's time now the age-old question. How long have I been recording? I saw like seven minutes. For the first recording. Okay. There's like a minute before. Yeah. Oh, by the way, as you can see, the pad on the chair is still here. Big boy pants. For more new music for I Blocked a Lie Season 2, I decided to play Big Boy Pants by Shane Ivers. I thought that it would be funny to say, I Blocked a Lie means Big Boy Pants. So I put that text on the... Anyway, for Norm, for, I thought that it would be funny to say, I Blocked a Lie needs Big Boy Pants. So I put that text on the screen. Shane has images with titles for all of his music. The color I used for the text on the screen is close to the prominent color used in the Big Boy Pants image. I think you can see the color of the text here. And see Big Boy Pants? Yeah. Close color. Not going away. Just because editor me put a text on the screen, that er, does that make this a joke or shenanigan? Anyway, it may have been hard to hear and understand what I said, so I put the text on the screen. No spoilers, no spoilers. made my face cam big so you can see me get beam boozled better. When I was shrieking it, I accidentally clicked the seek bar to somewhere late in the video. I covered the screen with my hand so that I didn't see any spoilers. I said no spoilers, no spoilers, and that reminded editor me of what contestants often say in Press Your Luck. 
It is a game show that has a lot of prizes as well as whammies on the board. Random tiles randomly light up one so many typos. One at a time and the board is shuffled. The contestant presses a button and they get whatever is in the currently lit tile. Big bucks! They want to stop at a big prize. No whammies! A whammy is a uh, two A's. I need one A. A whammy is a mischievous but hilarious creature that acts like a strike, as in how most games define strike, not bowling. Three whammies and you're all out of luck. I found a better way to hide the video. I moved and grew my face cam to cover it. The seek bar was not covered so that I can click it to about where I was. Alright, where, where, where was I? Where's the 622? Where's the 622? Joey's formal waltz. That's primarily why I named the next the title the next one, which will be covered in the next explanations video. During the hiatus, I thought of this joke. I decided to put Joey's formal waltz in the IBA query. The joke was supposed to be as soon as I heard a fart, I would be confused. Yes, you heard or read that right. There are farts in Joey's formal waltz. As I have said before, it's not really formal without flatulence. I would look at what I typed and realized that I didn't choose the unscented version. Yes, you heard or read that right. There is an unscented version with almost all of the farts removed. It seems that Kevin missed one at the very end. The timing was close, but not close enough, so editor me put the text screens in to make the timing close enough. Technically, Joey's formal waltz is not in the repertoire. Why would I want to hear farts? But it is in the April Fool's query, one of three queries of pieces that are by default not in the repertoire. Christmas is the one of the other two that I am allowed to mention. I do like the unscented version enough to put it in the repertoire. As soon as I finally corrected the entry in the IBA query, the music restarted with the unscented version. If I can skip to that. I remember I talk quite a bit here. Slow romantic blues waltz, and you do not want fart noises in it. Go with, choose the unscented version of Joey's Corner Waltz. And take. Oh, that was a juicy one. I went one. Nor the fart. If it says scented, or it says neither scented nor unscented, be careful. There might be fart sounds in it. Okay, I guess nowhere 
in my script here that I acknowledge me talking about Fox Tail Waltz, which is also part of the uh, the Waltz's album. And Fox Tail Waltz Part One has like a light orchestral, whimsical music in the background, and the instrumental version has just that. But the full version has Kevin uh, speaking kind of a I guess it's a Russian accent, talking about the fox from Siberia going to St. Petersburg to ride the fantastic public transportation system. And then he meets a bunch of other animals and then and, and, and they, they, they all end up deciding to go to St. Petersburg to ride the fantastic public transportation system and so far and, and it, the story will continue in the next uh, the next recording but so far I've not seen any indication other than that that Kevin will actually make a part two but I hope he does because I want to know what happens next in the story that's still there I should be looking up there. Well, that was so anticlimactic. Usually, it seems, when I click the YouTube video, the screen recorder timer goes away. This time, it stayed. I actually have a theory. The timer is in front of the bingo board window, but I didn't click the bingo board window, so it still showed. Recorded me noticed a few seconds after the text appeared, but it was hard to hear, so editor me put the text at the time where it applied. I should have been looking at the troll video while it was playing. So I guess since I did not click on that, that that didn't go in front of that. So that's still there. Apparently I'm not still showing because I didn't click on that, so that did not go in front of that this time. That's so weird. Kevin missed one. <laughs> Editor me showed that one fart that Kevin left in there. There is an emoticon in the text. I didn't mix the scented version for that fart, and you can go to Incompetech yourself to find out that the fart at the very end of the unscented version is still there. V. Time as always. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, uh, and as always, I said, and as always, thanks for watching. That is the outro of the Vsauce YouTube channel. Editor me put big green V on the screen where I was looking after I said, thanks for watching. Vsauce's brand color is green. Vsauce is an educational YouTube channel run by Michael Stevens. Well, I mean, it's not entirely educational. It's occasional other kinds of videos, but no. BPRP. And as always, that's it. I said, and as always, that's it. That is the outro of the Black Pen Red Pen YouTube channel. Editor B put BPRP on the screen where I was looking after I said, that's it. The BP is black for black pen, and the RP is red for red pen. Black Pen Red Pen is an educational YouTube channel that is run by math teacher Steve Chow. He is skillful in holding two different colored markers, primarily black and red, but he also uses other colors, in one hand and swapping them in his hand. He has a couple of 
it actually has a few different related channels, like one focused on calculus, one focused on algebra, and he also has like, a, I think a shorts channel, like BPRP fast or something like that. But it's pretty much all the same, just math content. Can I use two pencils? Just, just, um, like. I was thinking about saying somebody show this to Steve Chow, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Nah, that would be embarrassing. I'm not doing it well enough. Well, I mean, I don't know. Well, maybe he could critique my technique. Nah, he's not gonna bother taking his time out of his day to do that in It, it, it's actually technically not pens that he uses. It's like not this kind of like ink pen that you would write on paper. It's actually markers. Uh, though not permanent markers. It's dry erase, dry erase markers on a whiteboard. Well, I should. Ooh. I should end this video. If you're smart, click the like button. If you're genius, click the subscribe button. I don't know when I'm going to do my 10 year celebration. I might have to do it next year. Or I could try to squeeze in it. I don't know. But yeah, 10 years of Pac Bellingham. I. I promise I'll do some kind of celebration at some point. Or I mean, just, uh, pack collection videos, but... I mean, I'll do it at some point. It might be late, but that's okay. I'll just, uh, still only do it for the 10 years, even if I do another year or two or five or 10 or 20 or 100. Nah, I'm probably not going to be around in 100 years. Uh, that would be 122 years old in 100 years, and uh, not very likely anybody these days will live that long. But if you want to live a pretty long life, one thing you should do is uh, take care of yourself. So until next time, take care. Okay, this is after the five seconds of black and I just thought of something clever. Another interesting thing that I could do. Another eye switch. So, if anybody expresses any interest in what I'm doing, they could just say something to me or they can ask what I'm doing, say anything about my bean boozled or anything I'm doing. Which is unlikely in at least the first part of the f first part. I don't know. Then I will, oh this is interesting, negate all current predictions, i.e. those that are still yellow. So that will not affect any future predictions, and that will not affect any predictions that are finished. Like, if it was correct, and the text turned green, or if it uh, turns red, and I have, or will, eat beans for it, then... Those are not affected. Just the current ones, but I've not found out if they're correct or not. They'll be negated. So if I predicted something will happen, and then somebody says anything about what I'm doing there, then the prediction will change and become like the opposite. Like So if I had predicted something would happen, the prediction is now that it will not happen. Uh,
continuous. I'm going to allow this to happen more than once. And if the predictions are still unresolved, well, guess what? They will be reverted. And Bryce Klein, that's me. Submit. So now, two valid eye switches from me, at least. I don't know. Probably unlikely anybody else has submitted anything. So, yeah. Actually, let's see previous responses. Yep. 